Hey guys, this is Miss Wilder again. Today we're looking at adding and subtracting with decimal numbers. Our standard is MCC6 NS3. Remember that's Math, Common Core, 6th grade, Number Sense, and it's Element 3. Okay, the standard says we're going to fluently add, subtract, multiply, and divide multi-digit decimal numbers using the standard algorithm for each operation. Okay, now I've asked you to do an I can statement. Okay, so I'm going to go and walk you through an I can statement here. Let's look at the important things in this standard. It says we're going to add, so I'm going to highlight add, subtract, multiply, and divide decimal numbers, okay, and then that should be it. So we're going to write this in our own words. So get your pen and write, I can, and because we're just doing adding and subtracting today, you're going to say, I can add and subtract multi-digit decimal numbers, and we're going to leave it at that, okay? Alright, so we have written our I can statement for your Cornell notes. Alright, now we're going to actually add and subtract. Now if we have a problem, 7 and 15 hundredths plus 16 and 34, no, yeah, 34 hundredths. Okay, that'll work. Alright, so 7 and 15 hundredths, remember your decimal place value. Okay, the 7 is in the 1's place. The 1 is in the 10th's place. The 5 is in the 100th's place. Okay, plus the 1 is in the 10's place. The 6 is in the 1's, the decimal point we say and, 3 is tenths, 4 is in the hundredths. Okay, we can't really add it up this way, but it is very important that you line up the decimal points. So I'm going to write this for you, line up the decimal points. Okay, so we're going to write it vertically, which means we're going to write it one on top of the other. So I'm going to take 7 and 15 hundredths, and I'm going to put it over 16 and 34 hundredths. Okay? Notice that I lined the decimal point up. All we're going to do is we're going to drop that decimal point down. Okay? Now I've got a 5 above a 4 a 1 above a 3, a decimal on top of a decimal, a 7 upon a 6, and then I don't have anything over this 1. So the next thing I want you to do is I want you to fill in any spaces with zeros. Okay? So I'm going to put a 0 right here. And now I'm ready to add. So I've got 5 plus 4 is 9, 1 plus 3 is 4, 7 plus 3 gives me 13, carry our 1, 1 plus 1 is 2. So our answer would be 23 and 49 hundredths. Okay, so we remember we need to line up the decimal points, we need to fill in with zeros, and make sure that our, everything lines up, and then you just add. And you do the same thing with subtraction. Alright, so let's look at a subtraction problem. Forty-seven and five tenths minus fifteen and seventeen hundredths. Okay. Well, if we do the same thing, let's write it vertically. Forty-seven and five tenths. Remember, we're going to line up the decimal point. So my decimal point has to be under this one. Okay. I've got fifteen and seventeen hundredths. Okay, so I don't have anything over that 7. What did I say I needed to do? Okay, if I go back, it says that I need to add a 0. So I'm going to put a placeholder 0 here. Okay, now I am subtracting this time. So I've got 7 from 0. Well, I can't do that, so I'm going to borrow from the 5 
making it a 4. Okay, I'm going to give that 10 to the 0. So 7 from 10 gives me 3. 4 minus 1 gives me 3. 7 minus 5 gives me 2. And 4 minus 1 gives me 3. So my answer would then be 32, and that's a decimal point, sorry, it doesn't look like it, 32 and 33 hundredths. Okay, so that would be the difference between 47 and 5 tenths minus 15 and 17 hundredths. Alright guys, this is the second of our flipped classroom lessons. I know there are still glitches, but we are working through them. I'll see you tomorrow in class.